And now I'm going to show you just kind of like a quick way, you know, if you got plenty of driftwood around and, and you don't feel like making an extra order just to buy something for the cat to be hanging on and you're working on a budget, you can just put a couple of pieces of good driftwood together. This one happened to have a root system kind of partially coming out and it worked perfect where all I had to do is lay another piece on it. But I'll show you kind of like what I come up with. It's going to be driftwood, but it's uh, going to be for a land bobcat. And of course you can purchase things off the taxidermy supply company. But what I had here is a piece of wood, piece of driftwood, and cut it with a skill saw right there. And I believe that I'm going to go this way. So I have just enough room. I'll put a, put a hanger up top. And I'll lay this something like, like that, or maybe like this. And it's going to be just enough so that he can kind of lay about like this. Something like that. Yeah, about like that. That's simple, folks. I put it up against the wall, and I think, uh, yeah, right there is where the hanger is going to, about as high as it's going to go. You just shoot a couple of good sturdy screws in there. There you go. I've got some three inch screws right here. And I'm going to come in from the back. I've got some little small holes right here. They're going to come up. Go right into the back of that. And... You'll be good enough. Probably like that. Uh, this isn't quite back. It needs to come back about an inch or so. I like the fact that he's vaguely looking down. But what I'll do is I've got room to scoot this wood piece out a little bit more. And it should give me just enough to make it look uh, really good. Well, I shaved it up with about an inch piece of wood. Just uh, cut about an inch off the end of this. And that was flat anyway, so I just added a little bit more to it. Now we'll go out here with it. Perfect, just like that. And that's going to give us plenty of room for a cat. You know, we have to compensate for this piece of wood right here. Which is why I used the piece of wood that has the the root root partial roots coming out. Well, three or three and a half inch screw or whatever size you need to get through the wood. And you can also countersink. You know, if it's gonna be covered up by the cat, nobody's gonna see it anyway. Just put you a couple of screws in there. But yeah, he's a perfect fit. There you go. Oh yeah, I forgot to add a, you know, places where screws might be showing or screw heads or something. In this case, the cat's covering the screw heads. But if he wasn't, there's a place right here where you can see a little bit of a screw. Put some, you know, some moss. Uh, Spanish moss even hanging down looks really good. Uh, plants. Uh, sheet moss works really good. Little patches of sheet moss, sheet moss here and there. Some plants sticking up behind it to give it a, more of a 3D kind of effect. Always looks good. So there's, you know, habitat uh, means quite a bit.